symbiosis biology teacher hello children how are you all after a long time welcome to symbiosis biology teacher in this video we are going to see cbsc class 10 chapter 6 life processes part 5 the subtopic that we discuss in this video is nutrition in amoeba and paramecium so in this first we will see nutrition in amoeba okay right so you all know about amoeba i think what is amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism that means it is an organism which is made up of only one cell single celled organism right then what is the shape of amoeba whether amoeba has a shape or not most of the students answer amoeba do not have shape but it is absolutely wrong children don't say that amoeba do not have a shape it has a shape but the shape is undefined we cannot define the shape there is no proper shape for amoeba amoeba can change its shape in any way okay so there is no particular permanent shape for amoeba right okay now let us see nutrition in amoeba okay how amoeba feeds if you take example a cat a hen a cow a dog all this any example you take even human being also how do they feed they have a mouth to feed then how amoeba feeds amoeba is single celled it's a unicellular organism and where is the mouth for it then question arises whether amoeba has a mouth or not okay so here the nutrition in amoeba is holozoic nutrition okay amoeba takes food through a mouth like structure you may get a question again amoeba do not have a mouth like structure isn't it there is no permanent mouth but how amoeba gets a mouth how amoeba forms a mouth it is with the help of finger like projections amoeba feeds with the help of finger like projections called as pseudopodia pseudo means false podia means legs or feet okay false feet the feet that help in capturing the food okay so these feet are moving towards the prey or the food and captures it engulfs it how it engulfs that we will see with the help of a diagram now okay so what type of nutrition is seen in amoeba it is holozoic nutrition so in holozoic nutrition there are five steps so here ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and digestion these five steps will be there in holozoic nutrition okay ingestion means food taken into the body ingestion means what is meant by ingestion okay let me write here what is ingestion taking of food into the body okay that is ingestion right generally how do they take food into the body with the help of mouth okay <clears throat> then digestion what is digestion breaking of larger food particles to smaller food particles okay breaking of larger food particles to smaller food particles or 
we can use larger in the sense complex complex food particles into smaller food particles here smaller in the sense simple simple food particles okay breaking of larger substances into simple substances i mean complex substances to simple substances or larger food particles converting into smaller food particles is called as digestion then what is absorption the digested food from digestive system is absorbed into the body the digested food the digested food from digestive system is absorbed into the body that is called as absorption okay how the food is absorbed into the body if we take example of human beings the blood absorbs the digested food from the intestines if you take some other example for example amoeba how the food is absorbed the food is simply diffused here but if you take example of human being then the food from one place uh, human being is a multicellular organism not unicellular we are made up of many cells some thousands and millions of cells okay the digested food from intestines is distributed to all parts of the body by whom the blood the circulatory system is taking care of that okay now let us see the assimilation what is assimilation whatever the food which is distributed to all parts of the body the distributed food is utilized by the body okay what is assimilation assimilation is nothing but the utilization of distributed food okay the distributed food is utilized by the body okay how it is utilized for example uh, we are doing different sort of works for that we need energy for getting energy for releasing energy we have to undergo one process that is respiration what is respiration here again breaking of food molecule into pieces that means whatever the food is there you distributed food that will break and energy is released and ultimately that energy will be used by the body so that distributed food is utilized by the body the utilization of distributed food is called as assimilation next ejection what is ejection here we discussed about the food which is digested digested food okay but now we are talking about undigested food whatever that we eat or whatever some organisms eat in that 100% will not get digested some part of the food will be remained undigested okay some part of the food remains undigested so that undigested food undigested food is sent out of the body undigested food is sent out of the body there is no use with the undigested food whatever is digested from that we get energy whatever is undigested we can't use it we can't utilize it so it has to be sent out of the body again we have to take fresh source of energy that is fresh food we have to take again now just we have discussed about the holozoic nutrition and it's a steps so this holozoic nutrition is seen in amoeba so now we will see nutrition in amoeba with the help of a diagram okay children
so this is the diagram which is showing nutrition in amoeba already just now i discussed the five stages of holozoic nutrition that is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection okay so these five stages we will see in this eight diagrams okay first stage is normal amoeba is in normal stage okay then second third you can see here ingestion second and third these two this process i mean this stage is ingestion ingestion means the amoeba is trying to take the food inside okay here the food is not inside the body here almost inside okay it has captured so this eating of the food is called as ingestion then after eating the food the amoeba forms a round or circular bag like structure or sac like structure and you are calling it as food vacuole because food is stored in it okay so in this digestion in the stage of digestion what happens the enzymes some chemicals are there which will digest the food into pieces so these enzymes which are present in the cytoplasm you can see this all yellowish part is called as cytoplasm in all these stages you can see the yellowish part is called as cytoplasm i'm writing here it is cytoplasm so here from the cytoplasm the digestive enzymes enter into the food vacuole okay some other cell organelles will help in the digestion uh, which occurs in the food vacuoles okay children now after digestion what is digestion breaking of complex molecules into simple molecules okay after digestion you can see here these bigger particles are still uh, converted to smaller particles okay first the food was bigger in size later while digestion is going on the food particle size decreased okay after that still decreased now what happened the next stage is absorption what is absorption the digested food which is digested is distributed to other parts of the body you can see here small pink color dots i have shown here the food material is absorbed into the cytoplasm it is distributed into the cytoplasm and that stage you are calling it as absorption this occurs by simple diffusion only okay then assimilation what is assimilation in assimilation what happens the food particles which are distributed to all parts of the body are broken by a process called as respiration to release the energy and use that energy for doing different activities okay children so assimilation means utilization of the digested food right then ejection you can see here children during digestion process everything is not digested all these pink colored ones are digested particles and these orange colored ones are undigested particles or undigested material so here undigested material will be left over now the food vacuole tries to move towards the surface you can see here the food vacuole is somewhat inside but in this diagram you see the food weight food vacuole moved to the end of the cell membrane it moved towards the cell membrane okay so that again the food i mean the undigested food can be sent outside so here you can see the undigested material this is not digested it will not be used by the cell so it has to be sent outside now after this stage again ejection this is assimilation all the food is utilized then ejection here you can see the waste particles no children still they are in the body only now you see here the pseudopodia are formed again just the cell membrane separated here and formed pseudopodia again then slowly the pseudopodia will come back to normal position you can see here now the uh, undigested material is outside the body outside the amoeba's body this is called as ejection okay this process of sending the 
undigested food outside is called as exocytosis the process of taking the food inside the uh, body is called as endocytosis endocytosis means cell eating okay exocytosis means cell excreting okay something cell is taking inside is endocytosis something the cell is sending outside is by exocytosis okay here you can see almost the pseudopodia are normal again isn't it the food is i mean the undigested food is outside here also the undigested food is outside again the amoeba will become normal again when it tries to feed whenever it gets hungry then again it will catch the prey by forming the pseudopodia so this is how the amoeba performs the nutrition okay children what is the nutrition in amoeba holozoic nutrition now let us see nutrition in paramecium paramecium also undergoes holozoic nutrition and this also has five steps same steps that is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection okay right so here now let us see nutrition in paramecium with the help of one diagram now okay right so this is the diagram of paramecium showing holozoic nutrition okay with this one diagram we are going to see nutrition in paramecium okay children so this is the shape of paramecium children this is slipper shape okay this paramecium is in slipper shape it has a permanent shape okay and it is also having a permanent mouth like structure it is not like temporary mouth which is present in amoeba it is a permanent mouth like structure okay so where is this mouth in this paramecium you can see here oral groove a groove okay this this paramecium it has a small pocket like structure how we have a pocket to put some articles in the same way there is a pocket like structure this body this paramecium which is unicellular has a pocket like structure we call it as a groove so these yellow colored dot like structures which i have shown here they are food particles and where paramecium is living you know it is living in water okay surrounding paramecium everything is water only okay and uh, what it feeds it feeds on food particles which are present in the water it it not only selects food particles along with food particles it takes water also there is continuous movement of water through this oral groove okay so how the food moves inside i want to tell you the difference of taking or capturing food in amoeba and paramecium amoeba captures the food with the help of pseudopodia food is at one place amoeba is going towards the food with pseudopodia whereas in paramecium it is not like that the paramecium is absorbing the food i mean diverting the food towards the oral groove how can it move the food inside how can it absorb the food inside it is because of the movement of cilia here you can see you no know, cilia short hair like structure surrounding the body of paramecium we call that as cilia these cilia they will sweep how we sweep the dust with the broom in the same way these cilia sweep the water along with food particles into the oral groove so this is the oral groove like a pocket okay from that oral groove through mouth like structure this is called as cytostome cyto means cell cyto means cell stome means mouth cytostome means cell mouth this is one cell only no so this is a mouth for that cell okay we call this as cytostome nothing but mouth through this cytostome the food and water enters inside and here inside the cell 
a vacuole will form. What is that vacuole called as? Food vacuole. Whatever the food is there, uh, to that food, a membranous structure or a sac-like structure covers it. And this is called as food vacuole. So how far, how the food vacuole is formed, you can see here. This food vacuole will move through the cytoplasm in this manner. Okay. From this side to this side, from here, from here, from here. Again, from back of that slowly, it comes towards this side. And at last, through a pore or through an opening, this is called as anal pore, anal pore, okay. This is mouth, like how this is an inlet, mouth is an inlet, no? In the same way, anus is outlet, but we are not calling it as anus here. Instead, we are calling it as anal pore, anus like structure, okay. So, this is outlet through which the waste or undigested material is sent out of the paramecium's body, okay children. You can see here how the food is entering inside. After entering, it forms a food vacuole. Then this food vacuole moves. When the food vacuole is moving in the cytoplasm, the remaining cytoplasm, uh, some other cell organelles which help in digestion, what they will do? They secrete some enzymes onto the food material and the food material get digested slowly slowly the digested food as it is as the vacuole is moving as the food vacuole is moving inside that due to the enzymatic reactions whatever the food is digested that is distributed to other parts of the body that is into the cytoplasm then remaining waste materials which are there they will be reaching this particular place called as anal pore and from that anal pore, the waste is sent outside. Okay, children. So, once again, we will see the five steps of holozoic nutrition in paramecium. First step is ingestion. Ingestion means taking food inside. How it is taking? Like this. It is absorbing through cilia. Right? Then, afterwards, it formed food vacuole. Digestion. Digestion means the enzymes will act on the food. Then complex molecules change into simple molecules. The larger food molecules break into smaller food molecules. That is digestion. Afterwards, absorption. The digested food is absorbed into the cytoplasm. Right? Or distributed into the cytoplasm. Then assimilation. This paramecium also has life processes like respiration, movement, okay, etc. So, if it want to move, then it need energy. So, whatever the uh, food which is absorbed, the food which is uh, present inside the cytoplasm, that is utilized. This is called as assimilation. Then, what else? The last step that is ejection or ejection. Okay. Ejection means sending of waste material outside. Undigested material is sent out of the body. Useful material is absorbed, that is uh, absorption then after that it is utilized that is assimilation later the undigested material is sent out that is ejection right children so this is about nutrition in paramecium okay so both amoeba and paramecium undergo holozoic nutrition now we have seen nutrition in amoeba and paramecium both are unicellular organisms and here the digestion is intracellular digestion intra means inside intracellular digestion means digestion taking place inside the cell now we will see digestion in multicellular organism multicellular organism example human being any other example also you can take any animal also you can take as an example cow buffalo monkey dog goat all these are examples which you can take for multicellular organism then how nutrition in multicellular organism takes place that we will see in the next class okay children if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notifications please share my videos to your friends family members relatives or any other members it will be useful for them 
and any doubts are there please write in comment box below okay thank you very much